Hello everyone, this is Richard, and this is episode 4 of my, um, Minecraft Lord of the Rings series. So, we are back here again, and, um, this is where we left off. I guess I never, I never used the lead, that's odd. Okay, let me just put it back there. But, um, first thing I want to check is the map, and basically I'm not sure if this actually was the right direction or not. So what I'm going to do is just zoom in here and check which coordinate goes up. So it appears the X is going up, and then I'll just use F3, and let's see, the X is actually going up, I think, so this is the right direction, okay, good. Or not, F5, keep mixing the keys up, F3, okay. So I guess then we'll probably just continue on our way, I'll just grab this stuff with the X real quick. And obviously I don't think we're going to be able to make it because it's thousands of blocks, but we'll probably just do this journey over a few days and each like episode I'll take some shelter. Again, I'm sorry for the lack of videos lately, but I've been really busy because the end of the term in school, and so I'm trying to wrap that up. So where does it say? Uh, I think I already lost the direction. I think it was this one though. Let me just check F3 again. So where is X going up? Okay, X is going up, so we're just going to keep on going in this direction. I don't really have much to talk about, which this is my fear, because it's probably not going to be much we're doing. I mean, I guess we can just explore, too, and stop in a few locations. But yeah, I haven't, I wasn't able to get many episodes out because, um, this term in school is ending, though after I should have a fair amount of time again. Of course, then we're going to have a bunch of tests and stuff, because it's getting near the end of the year. Well, one term left. And then we always have like an end of the year test that you have to pass to make sure you actually learned anything. It's it's separate from the actual grade you get. I know that in Virginia it's called an SOL, but I don't assume it's called the same thing everywhere. So let me keep on going. Well, I forgot, I guess the render distance is set to be really short. But, yeah. So I just thought there would be more in the Shire. This is pretty empty. Like, I thought we might at least run into an interesting spot. Whoa! Okay, that was an interesting spot. Nearly ran into that. Good thing, at least, is the horses, you can stop them instantly just by taking your hand off the key. A lot of other games I've played, like Lord of the Rings Online, Mounted Combat, if you're on a horse, you don't stop instantly. So I would run right into that had it been Lord of the Rings Online. So, actually, I think... We should stop here and get some ores. I think there's probably a reason this happened. So, now for the challenge, getting down there. And I'm actually just going to put up the horse real quick before he tries to run away. Wow, we did cover a fair amount of distance pretty quick. We were 600 blocks away from where we were. So I still think it's got to be faster than walking. It's not much faster than walking, but it is somewhat faster than walking. Okay, I'm still worried with this horse that he's awful close to the ravine. I don't know how smart horses AI are, so I'm afraid they could wander off. But, I want to see if there's a way for me to get down there. Obviously, I guess I could use gravel. And I'll probably be able to get, I mean, just tons of ores just there. Hopefully it connects with the cave system. Because probably we should try and get some armor before we continue into the old forest. Because I know you can get tin, and I know you can get copper, and that can make bronze, so... At minimum, we should do that. Okay, so what if I do this? There's a shovel. Do I have a shovel somewhere? Okay, yeah, here's a shovel. Yeah, I know I have a tendency to use stone tools even when I have plenty of iron, but that's just because I'm very resource-like cautious. I try not waste any at all. Like, I basically, when I go, uh, a couple times I've gone strip mining when I play Minecraft a lot, like on servers and stuff. Uh, when I go strip mining, basically I bring about 20 stone picks and one iron pick. And the one iron pick is just in case I run across diamond. And the stone pick I use for everything else. So, let's see. That fall definitely won't kill us. So I'll just drop some gravel down here and then just jump. I don't think really this whole fall would have killed us at all, actually, but... Well, yeah, that was only one and a half hearts. So what I guess I should try and do... I've got plenty of, um, oak, so I should probably make a, um, ladder. 
But yeah, so I was thinking originally we were going to head there. Because I haven't exactly said this yet. But I was thinking originally we were going to head all the way over to the Old Forest. But I remember there's a ton of en enemies in there anyway. And I guess we were lucky to run across this ravine. Because it reminded me I really do need to get some actual things before we head off into a hostile area. Since I'm pretty sure there's tons of trees that attack you in the Old Forest in this mod. If only I had some torches. I can't even really explore anywhere because I don't have torches. Well, then first I'm going to make a um, ladder back up. And I think I have a crafting table in the backpack. Probably have a lot of stuff in that backpack, actually. <laughs> yeah, good, I do. Do I have any other crafting tables? Because I don't want to be carrying a bunch of stuff if I don't need to. And the sun looks like it's going to start setting soon. So I'm just going to make a ton of sticks. In fact, I'll just do this. Split the stack in half. Probably use half of this. That'll make 40 sticks. And then... I like the clicking dragging system. I know it's not new, but it was new to me because I really didn't use it. Because I didn't understand it for a while. Well, I guess I kind of understood it, but I didn't realize actually that it was so much more efficient. If you can just click and drag. Oh, wow, that doesn't have enough in there. Didn't notice that. I wonder if 12 is enough. I don't think it is. Okay, I need more sticks. All I need is two more, so I'll probably just use these and that. And I guess I'll make... That should be enough to make two more, hopefully. What? Just one short, seriously. That just annoys me. Game's taunting me now. Okay. I guess now I have three extra sticks, but I can probably use that when I need to make more tools. So it's not that much of an issue. And... Actually, I'll probably use the sticks right now. Whoa, I have ten sticks. Can I make another with ten sticks? Because I probably will actually need more, yeah. Okay, good. So now I have three sticks left over. And as you can hear, the Minecraft music is playing. I don't know if that's too loud or not. Actually, I need to mine some more stone to make another stone pick. So I'm just going to make it so it's easy to jump up from everywhere here. Because we'll probably wind up settling here for one or two episodes while I go caving. It's going to be kind of boring caving with no monsters. But there's nothing I can do about that, because I don't think monsters spawn in the Shire, so that's not really my fault. Um, make a pick. I forget what I was going to do so quickly. So I don't know if that's too loud for you guys or not. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. I'm very, very used to the new sound system in Minecraft 1.7 that I get always confused in Minecraft 1.6.4 adjusting volume. So let's hope there's some coal in here because I can't see very far. The shaders mod doesn't help. Actually, temporarily I'm going to disable that because I think if I click none, it'll be much easier to see. Yeah, now I can actually see in here. And for you, for sake of YouTube, I will adjust this to bright so that you guys can see easier. It's pretty cool that those um, are still uh, visible so far away. Okay, so I think this is ten. Yeah, tin ore. Okay, good. So let's get as much of this as we can and copper so that we can at least go in there with bronze tools and armor. I don't know exactly how bronze compares to iron and the other resources, so I should probably look that up. Because I know they have a wiki for this mod. So I'm just going to collect all the resources I see, but I particularly want coal because in the dark forest, or not the dark forest, the old forest, well in any forest you're probably going to want a lot of torches. I call it the Dark Forest. That was actually a reference from another game I played a long time ago. In fact, I still play it occasionally. It's like an actually, it's based on um, this, this game called Majesty. They actually released a sequel to it a while back. But well, the original was better. The original was actually in 2D. And they made the next one in 3D, but they changed the game so much. Like, all the classes changed, everything, all the lore behind everything changed that um, it was almost not the same game anymore because actually a different company acquired it. It was originally the first one was made by Cyberlore and then another company bought um, the game from them. Or bought the right, bought them and the game, the rights to their company and the game. 
So what is this? Sulfur. I don't think I really need that. Okay, there's some coal. I really do need want to get some torches. And I assume I have a furnace, so I'll take that out. Yeah. Get this started up. Actually, probably the easiest thing is to go for all the stuff in the walls first and clear that out. Since there's more light. Let's get that tin. I've seen plenty of tin, but I haven't seen any copper. Can we climb up here, get this? I think I did get some copper a while back, yeah. In the other um, place. So, where is my furnace? I think I just need to put everything in one spot. This is really getting confusing. So I think I'll just put all my stuff... Whoops, I didn't mean to place the tin. Thought I had the furnace selected. I guess I'll just put all my stuff here because this is an easy spot. And it's a big flat area. And let me grab the bed out as well. And the horse can just be up there because he's probably safer up there. And there's no way I can get him down safely without taking forever. Whoops, I hit T on the keyboard accidentally. Yeah, it is tea. And I'm going to grab that coal, actually, right there. Because I'm going to need something to smelt all this, and I don't want to have to waste a ton of wood. So, actually, yeah, this dirt will probably be the best way to quickly grab it. And grab my stone pickaxe. So, yeah, I've kind of run out of stuff to talk about. Well, actually, you know, I, I want to go over something uh, a couple days ago I released an episode of, or not an episode, but it was a video. You probably saw it was about the mod that I finished, well, not finished, but I finished updating it to 1.7, which was pretty cool. It took me a few weeks to do that because basically everything in 1.7 programming-wise changed. It's, like, completely different. They got rid of block ID system entirely, the block ID and um, item ID system. And that's basically, I guess, just to make it so that mods don't conflict. Though Minecraft did that. So I think it's also, that's in preparation for their mod API. But, of course, it also helps with forge mods and making sure that items in them don't conflict. And so, yeah, I did release that uh, mod. And I already have released an update since then. But it was just a um, patch. It fixed two bugs. And I'm probably, I already know what I'm going to do in the next update. So I am probably going to add obsidian boats, I think, in the next update, because someone mentioned that and that sounded really cool. And basically they would be the only boat I am able to sail in lava. And I actually want to make it so they'll probably sink if they get in water. I don't know how hard that'll be for to do from a programming end. I just realized I had the debug window up again. I have a tendency to leave that open and not even notice it, because this monitor I'm using is 21 inches, so I basically and it's only maybe a foot away from my... I'm only looking at it from like a foot away so basically I just see what's directly ahead of me I don't see like the mini-map unless I actually move my head or move my eyes to look at it so I like half the time forget I left the debug window open oh finally some copper and it looks like a fair amount of it too hopefully it continues whoops figured that was gonna happen because I let go of shift hopefully it continues back and is actually a big vein And that looks like a rabbit died there. I think the hobbits are smart enough not to wander off the edge. So I don't know how long I've been recording for exactly. It's interesting that the lighting system looks so odd. I should probably turn shaders back on. Uh, yeah, that's pretty dang dark. I think we'll sleep then. Okay, so waiting, waiting. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I like that in mods, how they always have one they update. Because I actually worked hard to integrate that in my mod. It's actually not that hard to do. You just have to do an on-join event in the server. So, um, if any of you saw that video, I assume most of you did, about it when I released that mod, um, go download it, or tell me what you think if you, didn't if you did download it and try it out. Because I really want to start 
doing other things besides just YouTube videos, and I think it would be kind of cool if I started doing programming and I started doing modding and I kind of mixed it and like programming with YouTube and things together. I might not, I might do tutorials or I might not, because I had another channel, a tech channel I talked a while about, I talked about a while back that I was going to do for tutorials, but it didn't really seem to get much interest. I only gained a few subscribers when I did that update video. And it's already a, just a ton of work between school and working on the things I want to program and then working on YouTube. It already takes like a ton of my time because I always am having essays now since I'm in an AP world history class, which is basically like a college level class that you can take in high school because I'm in 10th grade right now. So I really probably should get more furnaces. I'm pretty sure. I think I had another. I think I originally made two. Not the Hobbit oven. That's really odd. Did I put it in the chest on the horse? Yeah, I guess that I should actually probably build a way back up. I'm just going to use this dirt, and then I'll use the ladders on top of it. Yeah, I'm going to need more than 21 fences then, because that was like 16 dirt. Maybe it wasn't, because I used some somewhere else. Yeah, I used some of my dirt there, so it was like 10 dirt, I think. I don't know. I didn't look at the stack before I did it. I think I can take that, yep. And I've got plenty of chicken. The really annoying thing about there not being any enemies is it's pretty hard to ever get food. Though I don't really use rotten flesh anymore in this game, but... So I guess what I will do then is just build this ladder up. Because I really need to be able to get back up there. That only used... I had 21. Now I have 11, so that used 10. Actually, I was right then. I guess that was 6 high. But now... Oh, I have a, no, another full stack of dirt. Actually, two of them. So we started out at 64, and... Just gonna build. So if we used... Okay, we have enough ladders, I think, actually. And I hear the horse up there, so he's still safe. <laughs> okay, I think that works up as a good way of getting up and down. So now I will just... In fact, I could just do that. So I don't need any as many ladders. Whoops. I was going to try and catch myself on the ladder. I actually did for a second, and then I fell off again. Okay, let's get that one. Wow, how do I keep hitting the one two above? And I should probably make a slightly bigger platform because I don't really want to fall off. And maybe that'll be good. Yeah, that's why enough. There's no way I can fall off of that. That would be cool. Maybe I do like some guard railings. I guess it's gonna look really odd from down below, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, that's good. And... Yeah, I think that's good. So now we've got an easy way to get up and down here. And I don't know exactly when I started recording, so that could be an issue. And hopefully that's finished. How is that not finished in the furnace? Oh, it is finished. It's just wasting... coal now. So... I guess the real thing is I need to build another furnace. And I'm going to stop the recording real quick and figure out how long I've been recording so that I can actually time it from now on and know how much longer I have. So, I'm stopping now. Okay, hello everyone, I'm back. I just figured out it's been about 19 minutes I'm at, so I guess I'll just go on a little bit longer to probably 25 minutes and and so like five more minutes, maybe six more minutes then. And so I'll just time it from now because I have the clock, of course, at the bottom in the taskbar on my computer. So that's a fair amount of copper. And I want to try actually mixing copper and tin before this episode ends, because I don't know exactly how to do that. I probably should have looked that up before I started recording this episode. But I generally forget to look a lot of things up. I used to not be like that actually. I used to like plan everything in my videos, but now I've become more relaxed about that stuff. Though I still plan a lot in Richard Plays Minecraft episodes, but I purposely kind of set up these videos so that I don't have to plan them as much, because planning my videos took way too much time. 
Which reminds me, I should get a Richard Plays Minecraft episode out probably next week. I'm going to try and upload one next week because this week I just don't have the time. Whenever I run out of, um, whenever I have just a little bit left, I just put stone in there because you always need, I just put cobblestone there because you always need some cobblestone or some stone because it's always handy for like stone brick and stuff. So is this still going? And let's see if, how does this work? Do you just put them to get next to each other? Oh wow, and you get two bronze ingots. So, let's see if I put all this and make it... Let's see, can I make a bronze helmet then? I assume a bronze sword is better than a stone sword. I don't know what it is. Actually, I'm going to look that up real quick. Sorry to cut again, but... I figure I need to look that up so that I don't feel completely clueless. So I will be back. Okay, so I looked it up, and apparently bronze is slightly weaker than iron, but very little. So I figure that means since we have enough iron, I'm going to probably go for an iron chest plate and an iron sword, probably, because I'd rather for a sword have the best, at least the best I can easily obtain, because I'm not going to go for diamonds yet. Plus, that would probably be pretty boring. So do I actually have enough? Yeah, I have enough to make legs as well. And then what I'll use is for the bronze... Did this ever finish? Yeah, it did. Okay, good. So I'll probably use the bronze then for boots and a helmet. So let's get the tin ingots, the bronze... Oh, not the bronze ingots. The tin ingots and the copper ingots. And yeah, that definitely gives us enough for boots and a helmet. We might, I might even use it for a pick then. Or for axes, maybe. There were, like, remnants of it. But helmets take a fair amount. And boots, I think, are four as well. So, let me just open up the inventory. By the way, I also like these. They did a really good job on this. It actually looks very well textured to me. I wonder if it was, like, a 32 by 32 or something. Rather than a 16 by 16 is the image. Because you can tell this looks pretty good. It looks different than the regular stuff. Like, it looks... I don't know. It's hard to describe, but... If you've worked with imaging, e image editing a lot, you can tell it's pretty well done. At least to me, it looks that way. So where's the iron leggings? And... Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. I don't know if this is exactly 25 minutes with the amount of times I cut. So, anyway, though, thanks for watching. I'm going to try and end this episode early, so that's why I'm ending it now, earlier than 25 minutes. And, uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Richard out.